Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It is strange to think that tomorrow I shall be reading the last chapter of Leviticus. We've seen God work a lot during the time that I have been reading this book, and it does cause me to pause and reflect on what has passed in this month alone. I thank God that He has always answered my prayers in the darkest of times. With this in mind, I request that you pray for my father in law at this time. I can't say too much until I have sought his permission to mention it here. But I trust the Lord knows the situation, and if you pray for him, that the Lord will answer our prayers. It's Leviticus 26 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 26. You shall make for yourselves no idols. And you shall not raise up in a graved image or a pillar, and you shall not place any figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am Yahweh your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths, and have deep respect for my sanctuary. I am Yahweh. If you walk in my laws and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you your rains in their season, and the land shall yield its increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall reach to the vintage, and the winter shall reach the sowing time. You shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and no one will make you afraid. I will remove evil animals out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. You shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall chase ten thousand, and your enemies shall fall before you. By the sword. I will have respect for you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and I will establish my promise with you. You shall eat old store long kept, and you shall move out of the old because of the new. I will set my tent among you, and my soul won't hate you. I will walk among you, and will be your God, and you will be my people. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bars of your yoke, and made you go upright. If you will not listen to me, and will not do all these commandments, and if you shall reject my laws, and if your soul hates my teachings, so that you will not do all my commandments, but break my promise, I also will do this to you. I will point terror over you, even consumption of fever, that shall consume the eyes, and make the soul to pine away. You will sow your seed in vain, for your enemies will eat it. I will set my face against you, and you will be struck before your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you, and you will flee when no one pursues you. If you inspire these things and will not listen to me, then I will chastise you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your sky like iron. And your soil like brass. Your strength will be spent in vain. For your land won't yield its increase. Neither will the trees of the land yield their fruit. If you walk contrary to me and won't listen to me. Then I will bring seven times more plagues on you according to your sins. I will send the wild animals among you. Which will rob you of your children. Destroy your livestock and make you few in number. Your roads will become desolate. If by these things you won't be reformed to me, but will walk contrary to me, then I will also walk contrary to you. And I will strike you, even I, seven times for your sins. Or bring a sword upon you that will execute the vengeance of the promise. You will be gathered together within your cities, and I will ascend the seas among you. You will be delivered into the hand of the enemy. When I break your staff of bread, Ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver your bread again by weight. You shall eat, and not be satisfied. If you, in spite of this, won't listen to me, or walk contrary to me, then I will walk contrary to you in wrath. I will also chastise you seven times for your sins. You eat the flesh of your sons, you eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places, and cut down your incense altars. And cast your dead bodies upon the bodies of your idols. My soul will hate you.
I will lay your cities waste. I will bring your sanctuaries to their solution. I will not take delight in the sweet fragrance of your offerings. I will bring the land into dissolution. And your enemies that dwell therein will be astounded at it. I will scatter you among the nations, and I will draw out the sword after you. Your land will be a dissolution, and your cities shall be a waste. Then your land will enjoy its Sabbaths, as long as it lies dissolute, and you are in your enemy's land. Even then the land will rest and enjoy its Sabbaths. As long as it lies dissolute, it shall have rest, even a rest which it didn't have in your Sabbaths when you lived on it. As for those of you who are left, I will send a faintness into their hearts, in the lands of their enemies. The sound of a driven leaf will put them to flight, and they shall flee, as one flees from the sword. They will fall when no one pursues. They will stumble over one another, as it were before the sword, when no one pursues. You will have no power to stand before your enemies. You will perish among the nations. The land of your enemies will eat you up. Those of you who are left will pine away, in their wickedness in your enemies' lands, and also in the wickedness of their fathers. They shall pine away with them. If they confess their wickedness, and the wickedness of their fathers, in their evil deeds which they were guilty against me, and also that because they walked contrary to me, I also walked contrary to them, and brought them into the land of their enemies. If then, their uncircumcised heart is humbled, and they then accept the punishment of their wickedness, then I will remember my promise to Jacob, and also my promise to Isaac, and also my promise to Abraham, and I will remember the land. The land also will be left by them, and will enjoy its Sabbath, while it lies desolate without them, and they will accept the punishment of their wickedness. Because, even because, they rejected my teachings, and their soul hated my laws. Yet for that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them. Neither will I hate them, to destroy them utterly, and to break my promise to them. For I am Yahweh their God. But I will for their sake remember their promise to their ancestors, who I am brought out of the land of Egypt, and decide to the nations, that I might be their God, I am Yahweh. These are the laws, teachings, and practices, which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel, in Mount Sinai by Moses. (laughs) 